Thanks to DTE Energy Foundation, Quicken Loans, the Kellogg Foundation, General Motors, the Skillman Foundation, along with Reverend Wendell Anthony, as well as many other incredible donors and supporters for their commitment to DPSCD students and the Connected Futures Initiative. You now have a two-in-one Windows touchscreen laptop that will allow you to connect with your teachers and complete online assignments at home. This laptop is yours to keep and can also be used by your family to access other resources. Let's get started learning about your new tablet. In the box you will find a Connected Futures Instruction Guide, a tablet, a keyboard, and a laptop protection sleeve. In the accessories box you will find a USB mouse, earbud headphones, a USB adapter, and a power cord. Let's take a look at how the tablet component connects to the keyboard. Place the tablet face down on the keyboard. And simply press the tablet onto the keyboard connectors. The two pieces have now become a touchscreen laptop. You can also remove and reconnect the tablet from the keyboard when the laptop is open. Pressing the keyboard release button will allow the tablet to disconnect from the keyboard. Simply press the tablet back onto the keyboard connectors when you want a laptop. Let's take a look at the tablet's features and ports. You can also find this information on page 7 of the enclosed guide. LCD screen. Selfie camera for video conferencing. Front camera that can be used for still and video photography. And the unit's registration tag. This tag is important if you need to call for support help. On the top edge are the audio level toggle and the power button. On the side edge are the earphone jack, USB-C port, HDMI port, the standard USB port, and the DC power cord jack. Let's get your tablet set up to use. Although your tablet works using the built-in battery, it is important that it is fully charged before you use it unplugged. This doesn't mean you can't use the tablet before it is fully charged. This means that for the first time using it, make sure the tablet is plugged in. It will charge itself while you're using it. Pressing the power button, your tablet will turn on and you'll see the booting up process on the screen. Windows 10 comes with touch and tablet features with familiar start menu and desktop, improved operating system with more security, a new browser, its own version of Office for on-the-go editing, and plenty of new features intended to make life simpler. The laptop's desktop includes shortcuts to online learning applications and local resources. Clicking on any of these shortcuts will open the website in Google Chrome. For example, clicking on the Teams shortcut will open Teams in Google Chrome. Windows Startup Menu. The improvements include a space you can personalize with your favorite apps, programs, people, and websites. 
To get to the Start menu, select Start in the lower left corner of the taskbar. You can also open the Start menu by pressing the Start button located on your keyboard or device. Account Options Click on your account name to change your account picture, lock your device, or sign out of your account. This can be done from the top of the Start menu where you will find the account name with a picture. Power Click Power icon to sleep, shut down, or restart your device. Click All Apps to see all your apps and programs listed alphabetically. Looking for a specific app? Just type it in the search box. Search. Search across your device, your cloud storage on OneDrive, and across the web at the same time. Simply open the Start menu and type in the search box. Windows Search will do the rest. You can also open Search directly from the taskbar. Click Search and start typing. Pin apps, programs, and folders to the Start menu for fast access to the things you use the most. Apps with live tiles will show updates for the people and things that matter. Click Start, select All Apps, right-click the app you want to pin, and then select Pin to Start. Once pinned, your app will show up as a tile on the right. Right-click the tile to change its size. Drag and drop to move it around. Don't worry about running out of space. The Start menu will automatically resize to hold everything. If you have a lot of apps and programs open, there is a new Task View button so you can quickly switch between them. Click Task View to see all of your running apps and programs. Select any item to open it. Because all your apps and programs run in Windows on the desktop, instead of modern apps from the store being in their own space, you can no longer drag across the left edge of the screen to bring another app on screen and get a split view. Instead, you drag windows into the corners of the screen to get the familiar snap view. To snap, click and hold the top of the window and drag it to either the side or corner of the screen. You'll see a shadow of where the window will snap. Release the window to snap it into place. If you're working on a lot of different projects using different apps and programs, try adding a desktop. It'll keep things neatly organized for you. Or create a desktop for the things you do at work and one for the things you do at home. Select Task View from the taskbar and then click Add a Desktop. A thumbnail will show up at the bottom of the Task View page. Click the blank thumbnail to open up a clean desktop. To switch between desktops, click Task View and then choose a desktop from the bottom of the page. Action Center. Windows 10 put that on the right of the screen where the charms bar was in Windows 8. With notifications from various apps at the top and your choice of various setting buttons at the bottom for quick access. It is our hope that this tablet will provide the access you need to be successful in school and conveniently access community resources.